Vaccine continues to evolve at a rapid pace. An infectious disease specialist from Baptist Health Systems is weighing in on this pandemic. I also asked Dr. Steve Threlkill, is there a second wave of the coronavirus coming this fall? Take a look. Well, tell me, what do you think about this, um, this spike in coronavirus cases? Where is this coming from? I think there's just been a little bit more high-risk behavior uh, in the general population, particularly as it's been kind of documented in, in younger populations. And so I think people's patience kind of wore thin with this. And that's unfortunate because it is still there and it is still infecting people and, and in fact, killing people. So it's uh, we've seen kind of a, an unfortunate kind of perfect storm. So is this airborne? Well, very complicated question. I, I think that there's been a lot of talk about that. It was on the front page of The New York Times a couple of days ago. So I think everybody, uh, everybody would agree who has expertise in this infection that you can get it from uh, from touching someone with it and rubbing your face. So contact certainly is a way to develop it, as as it is with almost every respiratory virus. And large droplet uh, transmission is is widely accepted to be the case. That is, you might cough or sneeze, and those large droplets that you would put out could land on someone, someone nearby you, we say within six feet, not a magic number, but it's an approximation. And those large droplets tend to fall out of the air onto surfaces of the floor fairly quickly. So is there a possibility for a second wave? Yeah, certainly. I mean, one would argue that we haven't finished the first wave yet. So we've really got to beat that back by, uh, you know, social distancing, wearing masks, particularly when you have to be closer to someone, hand washing, staying inside, for goodness sake, when you're sick, all of the, or staying away, I should say, uh, from other people when you're sick. So all of those things we still need to utilize to get rid of the first wave, uh, I think, first. But sure, I think as, uh, as you know, we had flu in the community later on, sort of in the winter months, uh, there's a possibility that things could resurge with coronavirus. It, it's likely to be with us for a while. Uh, and that's what really has the concern of most people. Um, and yes, there, there's a vaccine we hope on the horizon. There's some other monoclonal antibody therapies that are on the horizon that may be substantially better than what we've had even so far. So all those things are potentially coming to help us. We just have to stretch this out a bit to allow those things to at least have a factor in cutting down the numbers of disease. What do you think can be done now to kind of curve this? And this is the kind of thing that you really have to look at the individual activity. But within those activities, try to minimize how close you are to other people. Wear a mask if you're close to other people. Those kind of things. Wash your hands carefully. Uh, th that would tend to decrease that risk for any given activity.